follow yeah. up on Jonathan Carl's question because the president made a very serious allegation over the weekend, and, and I think we would all be remiss if we went through this briefing and not try to get you on camera to, to at least offer us some evidence. Where is the evidence? Where is the proof that President Obama bugged President Trump? Well, I, I answered this question yesterday on camera on your air. So just yeah. so we're clear, um, I know this is now will be twice, uh, but I think I made it clear but, yesterday. I mean, but since yesterday, since yesterday, nothing has changed. No, and no it's not a question of it's not a question of new proof or less proof or whatever. It's the answer is the same, and I think that which is that I think the, that there is a concern about what happened in the 2016 election. The House and Senate Intelligence Committee have the staff and the capabilities uh, and the processes in place to look at this in a way that's objective. And that's where it should be done. And frankly, if you've seen the response from, especially on the, on the House side, but as well as the Senate, they well, they welcome this. And so let's let the Senate do their job, and the House, excuse me, intelligence committees, and then report back to the American people. Yeah, and will the president withdraw the accusation? Does he have any? No, any well, why would he withdraw it until it's? I mean, in, until it's adjudicated? That's what we're asking: is for them to look at this and see if there is no regrets is, for him no, about not, raising this accusation. Absolutely not. And I think that what he wants them to do is to look into wiretapping, other surveillance, and, and again, as I mentioned before, the other leaks that are threatening our national security. You're seeing the leaks happen over and over again um, that come out throughout the administration, throughout government, that undermine national security. And I think the appropriate thing to do is to ask the House and the Senate to look into it. Glenn Thrush. 